Hey guys, what's up? It's Dragonfly Jake, and I first just wanted to say I know it's been a long time since my last upload, and for one, I was sick for a solid two weeks, and I just really couldn't record, and I had no videos recorded before that. Um, my voice was just awful, so I couldn't really, really be making any videos, um, but I'm back now, and I'm probably a little bit rusty sounding, but I'm ready to get into it and get a video out for you guys and for me just to have one up on the channel and to talk about this crazy full of information status report that we got on October 23rd. And it's taken me a while to get this made and edited um, from when I was out of town and still just busy with tests and stuff. I had two this week. So keep that in mind and I hope you guys forgive me and I hope to see a lot of you guys in my future videos. So thanks for coming out and uh, hanging around. But this is a rough one, guys. This is a status report full of uh, some rough news for sure. Um, so don't take it out on me. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section, but I'm just, I'm just reporting the news, um, and I'm with you guys on a lot of your thoughts. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. There is some good stuff too, of course, um, but a lot of bad stuff as well. So let's get right into it. First, let's talk about beta. So I'm going to go ahead and just read what they say here. They say, this is the beta features and content section of the status report. Before we dive into the specifics of the Daisy beta update, let's set the term straight first. In software or game development, beta is widely regarded as a product that's feature complete and for DAISY PC Beta, this is true in a sense that the beta will have all the features required for its core gameplay loop to work, but within the overall scope of the DAISY project, it's certainly not what we would consider a totally feature-complete game. So, okay guys, it's back to me just talking now, that was just a quote from the status report, and basically what that means is that once beta is released, which seems like it to me it's probably going to be just about a month to a month and a half before... Um, the full 1.0 version, which is supposed to be out before the end of 2018. And we'll talk more on that later on whether or not we think it should come out before the end of 2018. Um, and basically this PC beta should contain all the features and content that will be in the game as of 1.0. Not that there won't be more stuff added. In fact, there will be much more added after 1.0. Personally, I don't like that necessarily. We'll talk about that later, like I said. Um, but basically this 1.0 or this beta version will be a buggy-ish, unpolished version with all the features in that will be in 1.0. Um, and from that point forward, they'll move towards 1.0 by bug fixing and polishing the game. Um, and they'll, you know, they'll improve the platform uh, before new things start to make their way into the game again. So 1.0, they want to have all the features in working great. So that does mean, this is where the negative part comes in, that does mean that there's a feature freeze at beta time and they'll just work towards polishing what's in the game. Now, personally, the stuff that's in the game is great and I think it's going to be fun and still good. Like, it's not going to be bad game. It's not going to be a bad game, um, but it's just it's missing a lot of the content. Now, to, in the developer's defense, a lot of people think that they're missing a lot of features, and I think we should draw a line between features and content. So features are going to be things like fishing or driving in a vehicle in general or shooting a gun in general or a fully automatic gun or leaning or jumping. These things are features. Um, content is like specific guns, specific vehicles, uh, specific clothes. That's content. And they're cutting a decent amount of content, in my opinion, and I'm kind of riled up about it um, because it includes a huge majority of the guns, or a lot of them. Um, and not that you can't have a lot of fun with the guns that are still in the game. It just, to me, gun variety is a big part of the game, and I personally wish they would delay the release of the game to some extent to get more guns in the game. I know these guns take a lot of work and a lot of time, but I really think that they should hire a bigger team specifically for working on guns. Now, that's my opinion, and we can all disagree on that, and I'd love to see what you have in the comments. But let's move on through this. Um, they go through a list of critical new beta features that were not available in the past versions of DayZ. So this is new stuff that what beta will have. And that includes, or just .63 in general, or this whole new engine of DayZ. These are the, this is the new stuff. That includes base building, the related crafting items, their economy setup, precise placement of objects, the electricity system, locking and locking other players from accessing your base. So yeah, there's more on that later, guys. It will cover some stuff to do with the locking of your base, which is actually, it's a cool system. And that's part of the good stuff for the status port. But we're talking bad right now. Um, also, some new stuff is the new implementation of vehicles, which improve, which is the improved controls, the physics, and the network synchronization, the improved damage system, and the improvements in vehicle interactions, management, and maintenance. And these improvements are amazing. I actually got to drive some vehicles on the stress test currently, and they work pretty dang well. I really like them. They're, like I said, there's a lot of good things they've done with the game. I just really think it needs some more work. Um, also, the modding support will be something new, which is implementation of the Steam Workshop, the Game Launcher, specific modding tools, and server files for hosting community servers. Some of this is already in this testing of the game. Um, it's gonna, I really think modding support is what's going to keep this game alive, guys. Again, the devs can make good and bad decisions, but if good mods are being put into the game and the core gameplay loop of the game works well, we'll have a fun game, and that's all that really matters in the end, but how soon can we get to that end? That's also part of the conversation. Um, and lastly, we've got the new player character features, such as visualization of ble bleeding sources, character lifespan, such as growing beards or learning soft skills over time, 
character restraining actions, which are really cool, and the hit reactions. Um, these are some smaller be new beta features and improvements. They've got major improvements to the sound design, hidden loot stashes, not losing your weapon when you're double carrying, um, improving the in-game map, which looks awesome, dynamic spawning of loot, specific animation for carrying using most items, melee attacks with the gun, so you can hit people with the butt of the gun um, soon, apparently, server browser improvements, the central economy improvements, and more with a smiley face. And all that is good. Like I said, there's some good there. Um, actually, the stuff that's there is really good, and it works pretty dang well and will work great. It's just a matter of the stuff that's missing, which is too bad. So here's the part, guys, the biggest oof of it all. These are the features and improvements slash content that has been moved to post 1.0. And I'm talking, so guys, please don't take this out on me. I don't want to see a bunch of dislikes on my video just because I'm bringing you this news. I'm very sorry, and I just want to talk about it with you guys because I'm hoping you somewhat respect my opinion and we can discuss these things that have been moved. So, this is the stuff moved to post 1.0. It will come into the game. The devs want it and they want it to work well, and it's coming post 1.0 as of currently. So, this includes helicopters and that they decided that the base building implementation will provide enough of an in-game goal for players so helicopters can be moved to later on uh i don't know if i agree with this or not i really think that the helicopters could be decently working maybe just put one in the game um and delay 1.0 a little bit to get them in helicopters are a big deal and we all really wanted them by the time 1.0 came out and that's too bad um climbing over obstacles has been moved throwing items has been moved bows character and infected ragdoll has been moved two-way doors so you know you open a door on one side it moves away from you and if you're on the other side it moves the other way from you that currently isn't in the game um and then fishing fish traps decaying bodies carrying characters contaminating air con contaminated areas and item coloring these are features that kind of work like such as the item coloring um but yeah they're going to be moved up to post 1.0 now like i said that was the part of the biggest oof but then this continues um, and part of that is the fact that they're not going to be able to implement the following guns. So there were going to be guns that didn't get back into the game until post 1.0. That was understood. There's a ton of guns that like kind of half work in 0.62, um, and even guns that haven't been put into the game but work in the server files. Uh, but there were some guns that were going to get in before 1.0, and that includes the Magnum, the Red 9, the IZH shotgun, the SKS, the CR-527, the Winchester Model 70, um, and basically a few other firearms, but those guns there were going to be in 1.0 and now they will not be. So classic guns like the SKS and Winchester and even the Magnum. The Magnum is one of my favorite guns to find. It's a classic, makes you feel like a cowboy. Um, it's a good gun. It's not too good, but you can find it in civilian houses and I really appreciate that. These guns will not be in 1.0 as of the current plan. And I just, I don't know. I really don't like that. I, I, I agree with them that they need to do a lot of focusing soon here on balancing the core part of the game because there are some features there's there's a decent amount of features in the game a decent amount of content and a lot of it is kind of buggy um or very buggy and yes they need to crack down on that i totally get it i understand their, th their train of thought that you know i get what they're saying that if they po push 1.0 back it's not like we're getting these features sooner but personally i don't think it's smart to slap on a 1.0 title to a game that is missing so many guns and so much vehicle variety in the helicopters um, I understand that they might, like, personally, I think that stuff did pop up. Like, I get that there were delays with the game, and I understand games get pushed back all the time. Even AAA development companies with, you know, thousands of employees. Battlefield Five has been delayed months, um, again. And so this, this just, it shows that, you know, delays happen. And in DayZ, it's nothing new. We've all already expected delays. We've all already been saying, no way do they get it out in 2018. And instead of them meeting our expectations and saying, yep, sorry, we gotta push it back again if we want this game to be good, they're saying, you know what? You know what? We want this core game to be good, and we're going to cut content from the game to allow for this game to come out in 2018. And, like, I see, I, I understand them to an extent. I just think it's wrong. I genuinely do. I don't think it's smart to slap on the 1.0 title to the game when you're missing so many classic guns. I mean, uh, imagine Shroud and Stream and Dr. Disrespect, and, and, you know, your friends are hopping back into DayZ with you, and you're like, like, oh, dude, I, I haven't found an SKS yet. You know, I can't find a Winchester. Where's my sniper besides the Mosin? Um, or the, you know, the, where, how do I climb over obstacles they talked about? What about the, all these helicopters? Or where's, where's the cars that were in the game in point six two? You know, how can I find those? And then all your answers to them. Your answers are just, uh, yeah, man, well, they're not adding it yet. They're gonna be adding it. What do you mean they're going to be adding it? Isn't this 1.0? Like, is there actually some less content than there was in 0.62? Well, yeah, I mean, sort of. Yeah, there's less content in some areas, but there's more in others. And, like, while that's true, it sucks. I can't believe I have to tell my friends when we're playing, when they ask where to find the SKS or the AK-47U um, or, you know, these... These guns, like the, the, some of the snipers, like the Winchester, you know, where do I find that at? Oh, yeah, well, it's not in the game yet. 
What do you mean it's not in the game yet? It was in version 0.62 a year ago. Like, I get that they're re-implementing it. They're adding new animations, new assets, new features, um, new textures. Like, it's all there, and it's totally great when they do get it in the game. And I believe that they will, and one day it still will be great. But it's just so frustrating to imagine that they are going to call this game a 1.0 release, and I'm going to have to tell my friends that are trying this game. You know, I'm, I've been a supporter of DayZ for a long time here. When they're asking me about this content that used to be in 0.62, an older version of the game a year ago, is now not in the game, that's crazy to me. That is absolutely crazy. And I can't believe they're going to call this game 1.0 with that, stu with that stuff missing that was supposed to be in the game. Um, and I just, I'm flabbergasted by it. Again, guys, please don't dislike my own video because this, I really want to hear your guys' discussion in the comments and your thoughts. Um, my biggest thing I want to hear from you guys, specifically the audience, and we're not done with the status report. There's some more content to talk about, and a lot of it's really interesting, so stick around for that. But I wanted to say this now. Get your, get your minds thinking about it while you're still here in the video. Um, and I thank you guys that are still hanging around. If you had to choose between a 1.0 version of the game that at its core is, you know, it's not buggy, it's a, it's a good version of what we have now in the stress tests, plus some base building stuff. Um, and vehicles. Would you choose that coming out in 2018 and them calling it 1.0, or would you choose them pushing the game back another couple months, three months, four months, two months, I don't know, until they have many more firearms, a couple more vehicles, and helicopters, stuff like that added back, added into the game like was initially planned? Would you prefer them pushing it back, or would you prefer them releasing it with that stuff missing? Personally, I think they need to push it back. I think this is Daisy's last chance in the spotlight, is to say Daisy's finally in 1.0. I mean, I can just see the, you know, when it's finally 1.0, people are going to rush back to this game to check what's new. And when they come back, and sure, there's some stuff new, but there's an equal amount of new, like, stuff missing that used to be in the game. I say content, such as the guns and cars missing. There's an equal amount of stuff missing that's new. And that's pathetic. And I think it's going to get so much negative hate. Um, of course, negative hate. All hate's negative. Uh, but it's gonna, I can see the articles now. PC Gamer. Daisy releases it to 1.0 and it's missing features from 0.62. I mean, it's, it, I just, it's beyond me. I can't believe they're doing it. Um, actually, I, I guess I, no, I can't believe they're doing it. Daisy's famous for pushing stuff back. Let's push it back one more time. Uh, maybe I'm, a, you know, maybe there's a lot of you guys that disagree with this. Um, you can check the Running Man Z's Twitter. I'm gonna link his, uh, write up in the description below. And I recommend before you guys comment, or at least if you're not sure on this stuff, read his write up on his opinions on it. Um, because he has a, some really well thought out opinions on them needing to push back this 1.0 game. And I just, I, I could not have said it better myself, guys. Truly, please read that. Um, it's, it's just a really good, he wrote it very well. And I appreciate what the Running Man Z did. Um, love to you, man. I don't know if you'll ever see this video, but just wanted to say that. Um, so that's that. I want to hear your guys' opinions for sure. And let's move on to the rest of the status report. So here, Peter talks about, some base building elements, which are really cool. So currently you can actually put the fences up and watchtowers up along with some basic electricity stuff in the stress test versions of the game. Um, also, they have fences that can now be turned into gates. So I said the fence and watchtower can be built, but fences can be turned into a gate and they have a lock on them, which will have like a pin pad or whatever keypad you can enter combination into. And you might be saying, dang it, is this turning into rust? Um, and no, because you can actually... Now, in rust you can still break bases, but like the idea is that with certain tools you're going to be able to actually able to break this chain or lock or whatever. Uh, so nothing is permanently locked up. Um, you'll have to defend it or uh, build stronger walls or whatever you're going to do, um, which is pretty dang cool. And I do like where they're going with it because I don't think the daisy bases need to be like permanent structures. It's more like uh, just to store your loot, obviously. That's the point of bases. Um, but the, a frustration with the game is like I personally don't find there's a lot to stuff to store. You have like, sure, it's a really cool system for it. And I like that you're going to be able to store water um, and food prep inside, like you can have a little farm inside, there'll be hey, stationary crafting, storages, all these things, electricity grids, and all this is very, very cool. I, I like where they're going with the base building. It fits into the world. But it's a dev team. If any of you guys are listening, there's nothing to that we want to really store in these bases. Like, it's it's not, like, I get that you might want to store food and stuff, but it's not worth running across the map back to your base just to store um, the, you know, the, the very limited amount of weaponry in the game. Like, if I'm going to venture out from a base, I might take a certain arsenal with me. Like my, you know, decked out Winchester with the ghillie suit and then my specific Magnum. That might be my loadout. Then I go back to the base, I trade those guns back in for a different loadout. It's a machine gun and an, a and an AK. Um, AK, you know, AK-47U. This stuff is missing. Like, th there's not that many options of stuff to store. And a lot of the loot variety is missing. And I think you guys severely are under, rep or undervaluing 
the loot variety in the game. I mean, I, I have no incentive to check small towns right now, um, except for food and stuff, which I get that that's there for your journeys and stuff. Um, and I totally, I, I value that. But like, it, it used to be inspiring. Like, I might have a M4 decked out, but I don't have a good sidearm yet, or I might even have a good sidearm. But if I came across a Magnum, that was awesome. And I might be able to find a Magnum inside of these small cities. And I might be able to find a Winchester in one of these small cities. And I like that. I like the thought that even in small towns, I could find some good weaponry and good ammo. Um, and I just, I'm gonna miss that. And it sucks that my, you know, my friends are gonna open this game up and not be able to find some of their iconic guns like the SKS and the Winchester. It just, it's, it's genuinely sad. Um, and I really hope things get reconsidered because I'm gonna miss it. And I'm, I, I don't feel proud to show this 1.0 game to my friends. And I thought I was gonna be proud. And I'm not. I'm not proud of the game currently, and I do think one day it'll get there. I don't doubt that. I know you devs aren't. I know they're not going to give up on the game. Like They're, they're going to put many more hours into it, and modding will still most likely save this game. But let's not slap a 1.0 title onto something that isn't complete yet. Um, Back to more of the stress test, guys. Sorry, I keep going out. Or back to the status report. I keep going off on tangents there, but that's kind of... A lot of this focus of this video is going to be me talking about that, and it has been. So they've in implemented a good in-game map system. When you're looking at the map, you can see it. I've got a picture on screen now. Um, it looks really good, and the in-game map works very well. I'm proud of them. It looks really cool, and I think it's going to work well. Um, basically, there's going to be a single base map called the Tourist Map, and it shows the whole in-game world in great detail um, besides the military areas, which seems like in the future they might have more of like a military-based map that shows some more hidden stuff on the map, which I think is smart. Um, supposedly, this map shows all the pubs, stores, local offices, medical centers, and police and fire departments, and all, as well as the tourist trails, which is pretty dang useful. So guys, I have a very negative view towards a lot of the status support. Some of it obviously was good. The base building stuff, the map stuff, really, really cool. And the features that they're going to have in 1.0 are still good. And I believe it will still be fun, especially if modding is there. But it's just a matter of like, we know Daisy Dev Team has delayed this game so many times. And I think them finally delaying and then putting something out that's great versus not delaying and then putting something out that's like somewhat great but still lacking is just a way, it's a way worse alternative. Like, let's put out a good version and delay it. But again, guys, I want to hear your thoughts specifically. I want to see this comment section filled with discussion, and I will be reading all of your comments. I'm talking all of them. So, Jimmy, you sitting right there, the guy that never comments, hey, I'm with you. I never comment on videos. You need to comment this time. Tell me your thoughts if you got them. Um, I, you know, drop a like in this video if you just enjoyed the conversation and enjoyed, I guess, what I'm talking about here. I don't want to say enjoy the status report because not many of us really enjoy the status report. Um, but that's that, guys. I really, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be talking at you guys. And I hope to see you guys in my next future videos or live streams. Thanks for watching.